Hey Dan, what's up? Have I seen the new picks? I haven't seen them yet. What pick? Joker? Okay, hold on. What the f- Good morning, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, I'm the Batman Statue Collector, and on this channel, we do high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, live content like Rogues Gallery Live, and so much more. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday so far. I, of course, am ready to support my Kansas City Chiefs. Go Chiefs! Cannot wait for that game later today. But I had so many people reach out to me and said, Hey, Chris, you have to do a video on the Dark Knight Joker. Of course, this is from Prime One Studio, one-third scale, and this is in conjunction with Blitzway. Now, this is one of my most anticipated statues. You guys know how much I love Heath Ledger's Joker, and I, I just cannot wait to add this piece to my collection. I have it on pre-order directly from Prime One. Now, this is a $1,500 statue, so it is by no means cheap. It is an expensive statue, and it should be the highest of quality. So, we got initial photos. Um, and if you watch this channel, you guys know how bad. I mean bad to a suck level of how bad collector photos are when these things first come out. It's 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 just a given. Every single time people people post bad photos and then the community freaks out. They flip out, they freak out because bad lighting, bad camera work, just bad everything. Now, I am not going to say that I am a great photographer by any means, but these photos are always notoriously bad no matter what. I mean, we never get good photos initially, hardly ever. Um, and so we got these photos yesterday. Uh, and my initial impression was the same as the rest of the community. This piece sucks. This piece is awful. This piece is not as good as the prototype. So we got photo after photo after photo. And they all looked bad. And so you have to ask yourself, you know, we, we say this at first, we say, okay, so we, there's a few bad photos, but there's going to be better photos, right? Well, every photo I saw yesterday were bad. So that makes you wonder, is this statue bad? Is it going to live up to the prototype? And my, my answer is no, it is absolutely not going to live up to the prototype. But we know that, we know that going in. Uh, a mass-produced item is never going to have the quality not necessarily, especially with movie pieces where you have an actor likeness. I think quality is usually there, especially for the comic book pieces, because it's not a real person. It is a character. And I think that they oftentimes match the prototype very well. But I feel like with movie pieces specifically, they are always not able to get it 100%. Let's talk about the Joaquin Phoenix Joker piece. When that piece came out, the photos were god awful. Everybody panicked just like this piece. Everybody panicked. And then better photos came in, uh, better lighting came in, and the community calmed down a bit, right? I still, me personally, I like that piece, but I feel like the quality, even though the sculpt was freaking brilliant, sculpted by the amazing K.A. Kim, I feel like the end product, the paintwork, was not great on it. It's still good, but I don't feel like it matched even close to what the prototype was. Again, that's just my opinion. So I kind of knew going into this, I had hoped that we would get a really, really great sculpt out of this piece, a really great paint job out of this piece. Because, you know, time has passed. With each year, paint applications should get better, right? At least we think, especially when the price point continues to go up to the $1,500 level. <clears throat> so I saw these photos. I had the same concern. I'm to the point now where this morning we started seeing a few better photos. Okay, I'm going to put these here. Um, I do think that they look a lot better than what we saw yesterday. Obviously, better lighting, a better camera, and so it gives me hope. It gives me optimism that this piece is going to be pretty darn okay. Because as of last night, uh, myself, my friends, people in the community were all saying, hey, should we cancel this? I've already canceled this. Should I? I am paying $231 to have this shipped from Prime One directly. 
because I wanted to get it in hand quickly. I wanted to see it, I wanted to have it, because again, I am a massive, massive Heath Ledger Joker fan. So, what do I do? Do I cancel this? Um, they did say that because of the shipping costs, that if you cancel from Prime One, um, you can get your deposit back. So that would be a, that would be a really great benefit because the deposit was like 150 bucks for me. Do I panic? Do I cancel? Or do I stick it out and do I have it to review for the channel? But then if I don't like it, I don't know if anybody's going to want to buy it. I don't know if anybody, Prime One, I don't think takes it back. I don't even know how that works with return shipping. I would imagine it would be just astronomical to get it back to Prime One. So again, we have to practice patience. I, I talk about it here on the channel. I want to give a shout out to Thor Gunderson. He's the one that taught me that. Uh, in this community, uh, Darth Castle, of course, DCX, to be patient when it comes to reactions, when it comes to ordering and things like that. I also talked with my friends yesterday about should I cancel? Should I still get the bust? Because the bust is another part of this. People didn't love the smiling portrait, so they're creating a second bust where you can change out the portrait. Well, I was talking with my friends again. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Dan Default. I was talking to him yesterday, and he said, you know, the thing is, if this quality isn't great, will the bust be very great either? So do we keep the pre-order on the bust or do we stick it out? And so I thought, well, maybe if I cancel the statue and then get the bust in, and then I can decide because I think that the statue will still be available. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think I should do here? Um, again, it's one of those things where this first week is always scary because you start to see photos and it makes everybody panic. So here's my suggestion. Sideshow is really good about this. They will take their production and update their production photos. Okay? They put out out of the box videos. Now Prime One will do that sometimes too, but usually months after the fact that the statue is already out. I'm challenging Prime One to do an out of the box video before it's released because that will calm fears because whenever we get people in the community and again god bless you all that take photos but so many times they're awful and it creates this giant panic if the companies you know get out in front of it put out these videos to show collectors that hey under correct lighting under correct video, this is going to look great in your collection. Don't panic. Don't cancel. I'm assuming the companies don't want you to cancel. I mean, they're going to get their deposit back in, in most cases. But I do feel that if the companies were a little bit more forthcoming with what you're going to be getting in hand, it will, again, soften the blow a little bit. People can still decide at that point whether to cancel or not. But the fact that we go off these awful photos the fact that we go off these images and we panic, I just don't, it just doesn't create any good vibes in the community. Now there are occasionally some statues where the initial photos are great, but that's few and far between, especially when I'm talking about movie pieces. Because again, people identify with those likenesses, and if the likeness is not perfect, if the paint is not perfect, we panic. And again, at the $1,500 price point, it should be close to perfect. Again, I'm not asking for 100% perfection. I don't think anybody in the community is. But 95, 96% would be great. Do we have that with this piece? I still don't know. Again, I wish that Prime One would put out a video showing what this thing looks like. Again, under great lighting, great video, great images, whatever it takes. But I'm tired of the panic. I'm tired of the panic. So I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to keep this pre-order or not. I do want you guys to let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Should I keep this pre-order? Should I review it? And I know a lot of you are going to say yes. But then I might be stuck with it. And I might not like it. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to cancel or not. I already have the Amazing Queen Studios piece. I'm getting the Infinity Studios um, Life Size Bust. Do I need this piece? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. 
Uh, thank you guys so very much for checking out this video today. Again, um, I just want to share my thoughts. I know the community is definitely talking about this piece right now. And so, uh, I, again, I just want to know what you think. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if it's your first time watching today, thank you so very much for taking time. I really appreciate it. And everybody that watches, thank you guys. Um, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Click that notification bell. Make sure you choose all. And if you want to take it one step further, hit the join button down below for early access to our videos and also other perks like bat boxes and more. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, let me know what you're thinking about this piece. And Prime One, again, please release a video so we can see what we're getting. I'll see you soon right here in the Bat Cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Bat Cave.